It was 1950s USA, and in charge was Harry Truman, as well as Dwight Eisenhower. We found ourselves in the middle of the Korean conflict with our boys abroad. Not to mention the fact we were in the middle of a space race to try to put the first man on the moon. Hey, jazz music and colorful nightlife, it was the thing of the day. Not to mention cool cars, as well as mom cooking in the kitchen. Girls waiting on boys, and the family gathering around the radio listening to all the fun. The pressure was on the plumber of the day. People demanded better products, new innovative things, and more comfort when it came to the plumbing inside the American home. And we delivered new ideas, new products, and consulting with our veterans. We came up with cast iron drain piping inside the American home. Today we're at an old 1950s house, and it's a rental. And guess what? We're having a jackhammer party, so why don't you join us? I had the call to come out here a couple days ago. Uh, the lady is trying to move in. The guy that owns the house lives in Mississippi or wherever. And it's loud around here. Sorry if you can't hear me hear the jackhammer in the background. My partner breaking up the floor. She had a complaint saying that there was water showing up on the floor every time she ran her kitchen sink as well as the lavatory. One bathroom with a back-to-back -back kitchen and a laundry here in this front room. Well, after cutting all the stuff out and breaking into the floor and stuff, we found out that the pipe was bad and it's got to come out. started with got the stack that's coming down there was a T right here picked up the lavatory which is on the other side of the wall as well as the kitchen comes through the wall and back through this cabinet down into here and then the kitchen and that's all I had come out so I could just get this T out come to find out once opened up the floor there's a big hole that was broke right in here that down here, another hole right there it goes down into the hub. I went ahead and put my camera down through here. That line is completely collapsing in on itself. We've lost it, take it all out. Now this ain't the first time y'all seen me breaking up concrete, getting in the old cast iron stuff like that. And a lot of you guys might never have to get involved with stuff like this depending on what kind of company you work for. I work for the oldest company in town and we're one of the only companies that do this kind of stuff. Nobody else wants to get in here and do this hard work. And I'm tell you something, you ride that jackhammer, break that concrete up, break out all that wire and all that crap out of there after the end of the day, you're gonna feel it. Not too far from the shop, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to take all these buckets of concrete back over there and dump them in the dumpster and take our lunch and come back and hit it hard again. Because of the T that was in the wall, well, that cast iron stack dropped from the vibration and this didn't happen because of the drop. This cast iron stack up through the wall going out through the roof is completely cracked. Probably caused sewer gas and stuff. We got lucky, it didn't fall and land on top of the copper pipes and break down. Then we'd have a flood in here. But uh, that's got to come out. That'll be on the next part two of this series. Gotta eat, you know.
we had to run the girl out of here, but we want to move in. Cause all the stuff's got to come out of here. One bathroom, one kitchen. We'll have to put the camera through the line and see how bad it was. Boss told me to take it all out. But unfortunately, she still has somewhere she can go. But we had to do it. I'll see you after lunch. All right, I had to step outside, take a break for a second, stuffy in there and all that good stuff. Let me show you what this whole thing started with. Right here. This was the single three inch cast iron T that was in the wall. And the kitchen came in here around. And then the lavatory went into the bathroom. First of all, look at that. That's all cracked. All the way down. So that was the real monster right there. And opened up the wall. Everything that was coming in from the kitchen and the lavatory coming down through here and just dumping out into the floor. So I had to open this up and it was broke all the way down in. I put my camera in there and found out and discovered that the whole line was bad. Sign, this is like potato chip thin. Really, really thin. So, and that's what the pipe underneath the, the house looks like. So there is no saving and now's the time to take it out while we got the floor open. So needless to say, we're humping it. Uh, I don't think we're going to end up getting this all broke out today because the concrete's thick. It's got a lot of reinforcement wire in there. And the cast iron pipe is literally about 12 to 18 inches below the surface in some hard digging. And the reason why it's so low is because this house sits kind of a little bit on a hill and a slope. And they had to bury it deep enough to make pitch to make it to the city. We're going to do our darn best. So we didn't get everything broke out, but this is through the kitchen. Laundry is back around the corner there. And if you look down into this hole, you see copper color that's down in there. It's hard to tell. I'll wipe this away a little bit. See that? That's the cast iron pipe, so we're right on top of it. The bathroom's on this side of the wall, so we busted all this out. It kind of goes underneath that corner tip. Broke a few tiles out there. Tomorrow we'll finish it out, and I think it's around the front because the laundry's behind that wall. We're going to get that finished up as well. Okay, well, we're ramping it up for today because I'm tired and we've got quite a bit done. As you can see behind me, the large trench that we busted out today. I'm going to show you something else here, too. So that's it for this episode. Uh, I'll catch you on the next one, part two, and I'll show you as we're taking this old stuff out and get ready for the new stuff. So, so then keep on up. Welcome back to Plumbing with Tim, everybody. Day two, part two of the series we're working on right now with a restoration on 1950s house. Um, I'll show you where we're at, and then you can tell me what you think. Day two on this restoration, and I had to talk to the landlord, uh, lives out of state and stuff, as well as uh, my boss, and everybody wanted to know, I mean, is the pipe really that bad? Does it all gotta come out? I'll have you take a look at it, and you decide for yourself. That's what we pulled out so far. You tell me there's anything left to save on this old cast iron. I don't think so. So, yeah. I'm gonna head back inside. We're gonna do some more work. I'll catch up with you guys in the bed, okay? Cool. The water lines are sitting up in there, see that? Laundry area. Try to get the bolts out of here. Get that shovel out of there. Reach down in there. Grab. Grab that with your hand. Water out of there. Ain't nothing left of that stuff. So I actually had some help show up today that, and a couple guys helping put the stuff back together. We did get all the cast out. Let's take a look at the bathroom. Broke the toilet up, <clears throat> ran line in there. Uh, the other side, we broke it over and tunneled underneath the tub and took the old P-trap in, out. And now we're 
running everything back out the same way. We didn't have to really do any damage inside of the bathroom. Smarted. So you can see, even the stacks were bad. We had to pull all that stuff all the way up to the roof, replace it with PVC. It was completely shot. The sewer line came out, the water main came in. We had to fight that sucker all the way to the draft all the way around that cast iron going into the house. We were lucky we didn't break any kind of water lines. So by tomorrow, we have all this stuff tied together. Actually where the cast iron ended, they ended up hubbing into scheduled 30, 34, four inch. It's got a break in here, so I'm gonna try to cut this. And then the guy, I don't know if he wants to get the outside replaced or not. I'll run a camera in there and take a look and see what shape it's in, but let's go ahead and cut that area right there. Place. The lavatory. And remember, there's only one bathroom, one kitchen, and the laundry. Let's go take a look at the other side of this wall. Wall, there's the lavatory, and our new sanitary key, and the new stack goes up. And kitchen line that comes around. This is your kitchen. Down underneath there, that's what a brand new key trap. Follow the back down and that's cleaned up and that's concrete down the floor. Well that concludes part two of this 1950s restoration. Uh, as you can see it's really a, a crap show around here. But we hit our goal, got all the old cast iron out, and we're already running new stuff inside. So on part three and final part of this section and video series I'm doing, I'm gonna show the final product and how things are all put together. Until then I'll see you then. Keep on it. All right, so we got the sewer line in, and I'm starting to put concrete back down on the floor. And a lot of that mix up, put down. The sewer line is completely in, tested, everything, so we're just finishing up on the final little details. All right, well, we're closing up on getting this sucker finished. Uh, thanks for being patient and all that stuff. Uh, let me show you where we're at and some of the finished products. All right, we've got the concrete back down. Nice and smooth that came out. I can sit here and tell you some backstory on how I used to be a concrete guy. I'm a plumber. We break floors open like this all the time. You just type, happen to get good at it after a while. Uh, we left it at a height where it's uh, 
just enough for them to put the tile back down. So we're gonna get the tile and the drywall guys back in here and then it'll be a complete project. I showed you lavatory going into the other room. Took and replaced that whole thing going on up there. So it's the kitchen and we dug up underneath the tub back in there and got the old P-trap out and redid that. So all the stuff in here is nice and new. The cast iron that we weren't able to get out was the top half of this vent stack for the laundry because there's a hub up in the attic that's hanging up. And I can't pull a thing out or pull it down and stuff. So, but I inspected it, it's not cracked, it's in good shape. So that's the only piece of cast iron that's left in the house. It's only a vent. Outside of that, it's all been replaced. Okay, as you can see, we didn't have to tear into the bathroom whatsoever. It's all intact. We did pull that toilet up so we can bring the new pipe up through, concrete it around the pipe and stuff, cut it down, reset the toilet. No repairs have to be made here in this bathroom, which is always a big thumbs up. Last thing I have to do in here is to put some grout around the base of this toilet. And then we're gonna pretty much be just cleaning things up, wrapping things up. We're gonna be done and out of here probably about an hour or so. And outside we have about a bag and a half, maybe two bags of concrete left uh, from where the pipe came out of the house out to the city. And underneath there is a clean out that I put in it. It's all tied in, it's all dried in, everything. And we'll get this all uh, smoothed out and looking good, but that's it. That's all the time we got for the series on this 1950s restore and restoration. And we tore all that old crappy cast iron out of there. You got a chance to see it. It's just the end of its era. It's, it has, it was, none of it was good. And so it just crumbled and fell apart when I took it out. But now these guys are never gonna have to worry about it again in their lifetime. So thank you so much. Let me comment down below, share it with a friend. And don't forget to subscribe. Till next time, it's been Plumbing with Tim. Keep plumbing.